And congressional correspondent Lisa Desjardins has been counting the votes and following every twist and turn on Capitol Hill throughout the day. Lisa joins us now. Lisa, as we mentioned, the first hurdle here is that House Rules Committee. You just left there. Where do things stand right now? That's right. The House Rules Committee dominated by Republicans, but Republicans can only lose two votes on that committee, not more, if they're going to get a bill through with just Republican support. They have, we think, lost those two votes. But the third swing vote, Thomas Massey of Kentucky, a short time ago when I was in the room, announced he is a yes for essentially moving this bill out of committee. You heard probably just now a sigh of relief from Speaker Kevin McCarthy at getting that yes vote. Now, Massey is among those who still doesn't love the bill. It's not clear how he's going to vote on the floor. But that is a that was a very, very big moment, at least in moving forward, potentially setting up a vote as Republicans would like to do tomorrow for the bill overall. Where are we in terms of those votes tomorrow, Amna? I spoke to a House uh, member who is part of the GOP leadership team. That member told me that they are, haven't done a full whip count yet, but they believe they're getting their hands around uh, the questions that members have. They're feeling good about it. This is all just to say what your two interviews showed. We don't really know where the votes will go. But I will say this. You need more than 214 votes to defeat a bill. Right now, we have just 30 no votes. So it's a long way for those opponents like Scott Perry to go. So as you just heard from Representative Perry there, some of those loudest critics are the hard right Republicans. What does your latest reporting mean for all of the concerns we've heard from them? Right. I think that with the... I'm sorry, can you repeat that question, Anna? Of course. Uh, uh, the concerns that we're hearing from those far-right Republicans, that this is not a bill they can get behind. You just reported right. that Thomas Massey moved this bill out of the Rules Committee. What does this mean for those concerns? Yeah, that's right. You know, I think the, those Republicans are saying that they don't believe Kevin McCarthy, as Laura reported, when he says that it's a $2.1 trillion savings in this bill, we're waiting for a budget score from the Congressional Budget Office. Uh, you know, but those Republicans right now have yet to get kind of the full complement, even of the hard right conservatives, on board with what they're doing. So, so I think they have yet to really make the full argument clear in terms of uh, getting everybody to back them versus Speaker McCarthy. This is for them mostly about spending cuts. And I do think uh, right now it's not exactly clear where all the Republicans will end up. What about on the Democratic side? What are you hearing from them? Right. I think that interview with Debbie Dingell was really important and interesting. She is someone who ran for Democratic leadership. She's not someone who really tries to make herself differentiate from other Democrats. The fact that she's having doubts is something that Democrats should pay attention to. Um, she also talked about something that isn't spoken about a lot on this bill. There are $70 billion involved in this deal that aren't even in the bill. It's a handshake, a gentleman's agreement. And that's something that Democrats are worried about, because that money would stave off the cuts they're worried about. But how do they guarantee that that actually goes through? All of this is in the air today, and that's why it's so gusty here on Capitol Hill right now, Amna. People kind of feeling this way and that way and not yet settling into where exactly they will vote. So, Lisa, the big question here is, do President Biden and Speaker McCarthy have enough pull with their parties to get the votes that they need in the House? It is a test for President Biden. Some House members have thought that he spends more time caring about the Senate than he does the House. His relationship with progressives is very important right now, a test for Kevin McCarthy. Uh, this is a Congress of Republicans who generally always gone with the most conservative kind of outlook. Here, McCarthy is saying, let's work on a bipartisan way. So it's a real test, also a test for McCarthy. So far, there is just one member who says they want to vote to oust him from the job. It takes a lot more than that. But that is hanging over his head. Lisa Desjardins following every twist and turn with more ahead, I'm sure. Lisa, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you.